This is Rocky, the English Springer Spaniel, six years old. I've had him now since he was eight months old and Rocky's been trained to find three, four different scents. Uh, the one we use particularly in this region at this time of year is of course the fox scent. He's also trained to find rabbit, wild dog and cat. So he's the, one of the first multi-scent trained species that's been working in Queensland now for the last five years. The whole Nest to Ocean funding effort was to try and do something not only about the marine turtles, which probably lots of people are aware of, um, but also about the freshwater turtles like the white-throated and um, the Mary River turtle that, you know, are, are either endangered or under threat. What we work on is the pest side of things, so we're particularly interested in the pressures put on those sort of species, the turtles, both marine and freshwater, by introduced pests, and particularly this time of year, the European red fox. We started off at Mon Repos. This is our, our fourth year now, travelling from Mon Repos around Bundaberg um, up to as far north on those journeys as Agnes Waters and doing Deepwater National Park. They were losing up to 30% of their nesting turtle eggs or their hatchlings through fox predation around that, that main nesting beach at Mon Repos. It, it, it's a bit of a letdown to see a, a, a nest that has been predated. We started there with the dogs and we must have found probably 50 odd dens in our first exercise there. This year they, re, they only reported one fox actually coming onto the park and that adult male fox, which they photographed a number of times, hadn't actually gone onto the beach. Dogs understand short, simple commands. So I'll just say to him, work, and the word fox. So he knows that he's got to work on a fox then. So his job then is to then quarter the ground and find the scent and then follow the scent and take me to the den where we then fumigate. There's only one approved fumigant poison for foxes, and that's a, a product called Denkafume. I'm licensed to, to hold it, to carry it, to purchase it, and to use it. And it's basically a, uh, a cylinder of carbon and sodium nitrate, which when lit with a, a fuse, um, burns a very heavy gray smoke, which is carbon monoxide. Whatever foxes are inside the den, just peacefully go to sleep and they euthanize that way. If you talk to all the people that I've worked closely with in those groups, they'll all agree that the dogs have been the most effective tool to quickly find those dens and to decide whether they need fumigating or not. And, and, and that's made evident by the fact that Mon Repo, where we first started, now hasn't had any foxes on the beach in three years, has had no predation on turtle nests or eggs for three years. So I think that's proof enough that what we've done together is working. We've not only knocked the population down to a very, very manageable level, so they're nearly non-existent, we've also taken the memory of turtle eggs or turtle hatchlings as a food source to that fox population. Now that's not going to remain because dispersal will mean that the fox population is going to eventually spread back into that area and so it's, it's really important to keep the work up. Every, every effort that you can put in conservation of the animals that we have as natives here or visitors here um, that are endangered worldwide, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on, on the marine turtles and migrating shorebirds in all other countries. But if we do our bit, we can convince the rest of the world to do their bit, then that makes a difference.